Welcome back. We're going to talk real quickly about pivot screws and how tight to put them in there and how to check for action. We're going to use the G key as an example. This is the same for saxophones and clarinets. We're going to get right to it. All right, what we're looking at here today is keywork fluidity. You can hear many times you will say keywork's really smooth, fluid, responds well. This is in relation to how the horn is set up. Not only spring tension, but also as an example, the last tech that touched this Yamaha 62 basically screwed in the pivot screws as tight as they can go. And I want to show you an issue with that. We're going to look at the G key in particular right now. You can see it's a rebound right now. It's pretty good. Now, if I tighten the pivot screw on as tight as it would go, you see it doesn't even open back up. You have to lift your finger up on it. <clears throat> so in this case, it doesn't even come back up. And it's not the spring, it's the pivot screw. So if I loosen a bit, see how that pops up? And if I loosen it more, of course, reactions more. You can see how fast that becomes. If I tighten it back down, you can see it just I can just basically lock it up. Now you want the pivot screw to give fast response with the spring tension. We also don't want to move up and down. So you gotta check that. Of course, you don't want your pivot screw to fall out either. Right there. This horn has a lot of had a lot of issues um, with the way pads were installed. <clears throat> there was keywork up here that I swear was oiled with motor oil. It, gunked up and basically solidified there's there was a lot of issues with it keys were sloppy moving around now it's playing actually mechanically it's a lot better than it was before slight adjustments here they're cleaning cleaning the all the rod screws and everything now it's 100 percent better um of course it was dented down here had had a lot of metal to metal contacts and all the pivot screws were just torqued down so the keywork didn't respond very well. Now it does. So if you ever get a horn, you want to make sure to have as light keywork as possible. You want to make sure those pivot screws are not just torqued down as much as possible. And everything will respond greatly. Some of these, like the side F, takes time to adjust it. You identify the rod. If your glasses will let you see it. And that's what we're talking about today is making the key work very fast rebounding. The faster rebounding key work is, the faster you're able to play, of course. <laughs> Things are looking good right now. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe on more tech tips. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.